while I'm sitting here making my previous video of um, five things I don't like about my Ford Fusion, I am going to make another video right after that, which is this one. We're going to do three major issues that have happened to my parents 2015 Chevy Suburban LTZ and this Suburban has pretty much every single option if not every single option I think it has everything it's completely loaded up it's got everything and <clears throat> the three expensive repairs they've had to do out of warranty uh, we'll start from the top. The heated seats went out mm, a year a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, which for the car being 2015 and it's 2020, I think they bought it. It's maybe four and a half years old from when they bought it, or four years old. Not very long and out of warranty heated seats went out. <clears throat> so both front seats on the butt, bottom heat uh, strip, they both burned out, both of them. Kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Then, so they haven't repaired that and I think we maybe will do that ourselves if we can, kind of putting it off then, uh, after that, or maybe a gradual um, kind of downfall of the front magnetic ride control shocks, they were like 2500 bucks to replace or something like that, I think a piece, um, and I mean, either way, if they weren't a piece or if it's um, both of them for 2500 bucks, I can't quite remember. But that's still very expensive, and they had to get new shocks, or whatever you would call those, uh, because the ride was awful without them. So that's kind of a, a dumb thing after four years. I think they've now have a hundred thousand miles on the vehicle but at that time it probably had eighty or seventy thousand so then <clears throat> just a couple weeks ago their Sirius XM antenna got water in it and it's kept in this garage space here the car is currently out, out and about somewhere but it's stored inside so just imagine people that don't store their suburban inside they're much more likely to have an issue with that kind of ridiculous after four years of a garage kept suburban to have a, uh, a leak like that which they had to pay for and that was a uh, a few hundred dollars probably I think it was like four or five hundred bucks or something like that but on a four year old SUV you would think that that shouldn't happen so those are just the kind of the highlights of the vehicle that are an issue there's maybe other things but I don't drive that and I don't pay attention to it really what or have not overheard other issues about their car but I just thought I'd point that out because it's kind of silly that they're having to do that and uh, the car is not very old so thank you for watching have a great day um, I would like to add that otherwise the vehicle has been fairly reliable, so catch you later. There is one more thing with the Suburban that I did forget, and it's rust. The 
vehicle has rust on it after only four years. Um, and it's not like it hasn't been washed. My mom washes it all the time. So, those are some things that you maybe want to um, consider. And I thought I just would add this at the end.